Hey guys, Maxion from TabletRoms.com. A special thanks for this episode to um, both Ivans uh, of Slate Droid, Joey, and Joe of uh, the Visual Land team, without whom this would not be doable. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get the proper version of Skype on your tablet, as well as, um, you know, put Google Play on. So first you're going to want to download uh, the proper version of Skype from the link down in the description. Uh, make sure that your USB is connected and uh, as you can see in the video you plug it in and then you click on that particular one, tell it to use it for mass storage and bam it'll show up on your computer and then you can transfer the file and install it. Well the more media pr meaty thing, which of course is the, um, the Google Play, you need to download Google Play, um, the particular one that's listed in the description, and it needs to be the, of course, um, ice cream sandwich, and make sure you have USB debugging enabled on your tablet. And then you will need, you will need 7-zip so that you can unzip the file, and then go to it, and run the Google, uh, read me. <laughs> go to the read me first, read through the instructions, um, they're pretty simple instructions, but be sure to do it. And then, once you've read through the instructions, you can go ahead and run the um, Google Play file there. Now it'll bring up a good old-fashioned CMD, or, you know, command prompt. And go ahead and press any key to continue. Um, hmm, I see. Esk, Kataral, and Pigup. Hmm. Anyhow, it'll give you some options. You'll want to choose option C because this is an other all-winner all A10 tablet. Um, or, um, yeah, option C. Now, it's giving the error device found. You will probably have that happen, and that's because you don't have the proper drivers installed. Um, so it comes in the zip thing, so you'll want to go ahead, extract those to a folder, navigate to that folder through device manager, and select the proper driver, tell the computer to go for it, and then now you will have the proper um, the proper drivers. And so when you've got the proper drivers, this is more like what you'll see right here. So I'll go ahead and speed up the process. If there are any questions, uh, Google is your friend, as am I, and I'm perfectly willing to answer any questions you guys have. But at this point, what'll happen is it'll run through copying all the files, and uh, you will, of course, be prompted as to whether you want uh, various things. And then it will be done, complete, and your tablet, which is, of course, plugged in, will reboot itself. Or, I should say, be reboot by the process. Um, once, you know, everything's over. So, as you can see, it's off, and then, bam, the Visual Land screen comes up because it has uh, rebooted. So I'll go ahead and skip ahead to the uh, to the good stuff. And uh, here it is in the market. Now this is the spot where it would normally stop, where I was telling it to install, it would just force close. But now I can install and I can uh, go ahead and navigate to and play some Angry Birds now. So anyway, um, once again, special thanks all around and uh, stay tuned for more.